Ah, <sighs> Amphibia. The Owl House's younger sibling, you might say. These shows aired at the same time, and the Owl House quickly overshadowed Amphibia. And don't get me wrong, these shows are both amazing, but not enough people give Amphibia the attention it deserves. And as you can guess from the title of this video, I think you should watch Amphibia. And especially so if you enjoyed the Owl House. Why should you? Well, I'm glad you asked. Amphibia is a show about three girls that got transported to another world and have to find a way to get back home, as well as save both that world and their own world. You can already see how it has a lot of similarities to the Owl House. Now, I do want to warn you that going forward, there's probably going to be some light story spoilers. Nothing too major, but still, you've been warned. So, Amphibia. Why should you actually watch it? What are you going to get out of it? Well, for starters, Amphibia has some really great themes. The first season really hones in on the journey of self-appreciation and understanding who you are. Over this season, Anne began to get a lot more confident and she started understanding herself a lot better. We also learn about how Sasha, one of her friends, was kind of manipulative and wasn't always the kindest to Anne. And later, Anne stood up to her, which is something she never did before. I think this is something that we can all relate to because pretty much all of us have had to learn how to stand up for ourselves. The main theme of the show though is change. The show really tries to teach you that change is important and it happens no matter what. We see these three girls, heck even all of these characters, change so much over the show and become so different from how they started. We also see how people changing has impacts on people's relationships with each other and that sometimes people grow apart. I think the themes in the show are really great lessons that not a lot of shows touch on. I mean, not a lot of shows go for that bittersweet ending. You usually see a happy ending where everything works out, but Amphibia gives you that bittersweet ending, which is a lot more like what happens in our own lives. It's not something we like to accept, but it's something important that we need to come to terms with. And having to deal with that bittersweet ending almost prepares us for when we have to deal with it ourselves. Amphibious ending really drives home how people naturally grow apart and that friendships don't stay the same. Even if they last, they can look drastically different over time. And honestly, I think Amphibious ending almost hits harder than the Owl House. I mean, in the Owl House, we at least see that everybody continues their adventures together, but in Amphibia, we see these people grow apart. And it doesn't help when you've grown to be super attached to all these characters. I mean, watching the things these characters go through and seeing how they change makes it kind of hard not to grow attached to them. And there's also just so much variety in the different personalities that each character has that it makes it almost impossible not to relate to somebody in the show. When you're watching, there's just so many opportunities to go, hey, that's just like me, or I know what that feels like, or I've dealt with people like that before. It's just so easy to connect to the show, which makes it that much harder to say goodbye to it. And I think that's a good thing, really. I feel like if you don't have a hard time saying goodbye to a show, then it probably didn't make you feel connected to it. I think saying goodbye to a show should almost be as hard as saying goodbye to a good friend. It's like the end of a chapter of your life in a way. I also think that one of the best parts about Amphibia is that when you finish the show, you can then go on to get Marcy's journal for even more new stuff. This is the journal that Marcy wrote in throughout the show, and it features a lot of cool things, like the stories of what Marcy did in the times when the show was focused on Anne. It's also just really cool and interesting to be able to read what Marcy was thinking throughout the show. And Matt Braley, the creator of the show, has said that more Amphibia books should be coming in the semi-near future, so there's even more to look forward to. And on top of all that, the show is also just... Fun. Yeah, some episodes are really heavy, hard-hitting story points, but there's a lot of episodes that are just a fun time. The show is full of random adventures, wacky characters, and just stupid shenanigans. It really does have an awesome balance of making you laugh and making your heart ache. Yeah, those story-focused episodes that are full of lore are really great and intriguing, but sometimes you just want a break from all the action. Sometimes you want the random things these characters get up to. And I know that at first sight, Amphibia might seem like it's just a show for little kids, but it really isn't. The first season might be a little slow, but it's still worth sticking it through. I think a lot of people overlooked Amphibia because they were more interested in the Owl House. 
Or maybe they saw a couple episodes of Amphibia and thought it wasn't a serious show. And honestly, I get it. I mean, I kind of had similar thoughts about it when I first saw it. And I definitely think the Owl House captures your attention a lot faster than Amphibia does. But Amphibia is just so worth the watch. I'd really compare it to shows like Adventure Time or Steven Universe. That first season is kind of slow and not really that serious story-wise, but once it gets its foundation, it's just so amazing to watch and it's just so incredible. Amphibia takes a bit to really draw you in, but it will make you cry. It's such a good story and really touches on important life lessons that are great for everybody no matter what age you are. It's a great show, and if you were on the fence about watching it, I really hope that I've convinced you. And hey, if you're still here, you probably liked the video. If you could like, comment, and or subscribe, it would mean a lot. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.